All right, so this is going to be another movie review. This one's called The Man Who Shot Liberty Valance, 1962. I'm giving it two out of five stars. It reminded me of Heaven's Gate. Now I know where uh, Heaven Gate, Heaven's Gate got its idea from. The Andro Hendo movie that I absolutely hated. I'm giving this one two out of five stars. I disliked it. It's got the same storyline as Heaven's Greedy Ranchers want to run roughshod over people's schools and their little ranches where uh, John Wayne grows his cactus roses <laughs> there was a little bit of uh, controversy about who was the leading man in this movie uh, was it John Wayne or James Stewart John Ford kept saying it was uh, John Wayne but um, you know the, the movie asked the question right off the bat who shot Liberty Valance and just looking at how much of a wussy James Stewart is. You, you, you figure that John Wayne is the guy who sh shoots Liberty Valance, but actually it's James Stewart. <laughs> there's, a, there's a plot twist going on. That's, uh, that's about the only thing interesting about this movie. <laughs> so, um, so James Stewart is uh, going back to the town of Shinbone to uh, pay his respects to John Wayne <laughs> after uh, John Wayne had his uh, Mira, Vera Miles stolen away from him by uh, James Stewart. A <laughs> little love triangle going on there. Vera Meyer, Miles was also in... Uh, Brainwaves, 1983. Uh, Natalie Wood's last movie, I believe, with uh, Christopher Walken. <laughs> a great flick. Anyways, so uh, Liberty Valance is uh, the, uh, the newspaper in Shimbo is asking Liberty Valance why he's uh, visiting this small time rancher. <laughs> And so he tells the, uh, the story of how he came to Shinbone and how he came to power, ultimately becoming a Congress squirter. <laughs> he's a well-respected senator by now. So he's telling the story about how he was in a stagecoach, just an aspiring lawyer traveling to Shinbone for no apparent reason. <laughs> And uh, he gets held up by uh, Lee Marvin Lee, and Lee Van Cleef, some other dude, uh, uh, Liberty Valance gang. And um, Liberty Valance starts whipping him. He's, he's got this whip thing where he likes to whip guys. I don't know. Sounds kind of uh, kinky. <laughs> Slavery? <laughs> oh, yeah? <laughs> Just like in socialist countries. <laughs> You're not going fast enough, comrade. <laughs> anyway, so uh, so Jim Stewart is pretty roughed up. He's, he's got stitches on his, on his forehead. And uh, John Wayne rescues him. Takes him to Vera Miles' place. Uh, John Wayne's got the hots for Vera Miles, but uh, she's uh, budding a relationship with uh, James Stewart. James Stewart wants to educate the people of Shinbone, teach them how to learn, uh, teach them how to read and write. <laughs> so he's kind of like a John Dewey character trying to implement. Uh, Compulsory education 
law <laughs> in Shitbone, <laughs> wherever that is. And uh, and so Vera Miles is attracted to him because she wants to learn how to read and write. She ends up becoming like the uh, the teacher's aide. Then they do a sorry uh, civics lesson talking about republic and democracy. How about talking about total freedom <laughs> instead of uh, various form? <laughs> yeah, instead of talking about various forms of government of the United States, uh, let's talk about how the uh, the people of Israel uh, obeyed God's law and didn't have any government, practically just a bunch of judges enforcing God's law. <laughs> Right, I told I told my son about that, and he thought it was anarcho Christianity. <laughs> he might be right. Uh, I shouldn't argue with my son; he's smarter about these things. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> I'm sure there are uh, instances, uh, historical examples of uh, anarchy. Uh, there, there was. Uh, I know Ireland had it, but uh, Spain shut down its government. Iceland. Spain shut down its government for some democracy reason. Oh, yeah. The socialists and conservatives were fighting. Oh. They shut down the government. Oh yeah. That's what Washington should do. It should shut down for like fifty years. <laughs> Anyways. He's supposed to be teaching them how to read and write, but he's teaching them. He's he's trying to get them to vote against the uh, bloodthirsty, uh, uh, greedy white male swine of a capitalist pig. How about <laughs> the uh, the big time rancher, <laughs> the demon from uh, Heaven's Gate. <laughs> I hate these kind of movies. John Ford, lame stream. Well, I don't hate it because the plot twist was pretty cool, but it's like two hours and three minutes. Come on. The movie's supposed to be an hour and a half, not two hours, three minutes. <laughs> and uh, of course, it's in black and white. Um, interesting. Role for uh, James Stewart. He was also uh, in uh, North and South, the '80s TV show. He was around a long time. He lived to, uh, through the 1990s, I think. <laughs> he must have been taking supplements or something, uh, eating health foods. <laughs> but. Uh, yeah, they're very strict at the school. They don't allow anybody to smoke. And uh, you got to take off your hat. One time I was in high school, and uh, I was in t uh, typing class, and the teacher just, I was wearing my baseball cap, and the teacher just went like this, whoop! <laughs> no more hat. <laughs> yeah, same with hoodies. Oh, it's the same with hoodies? I think you're a gangster if you wear a hoodie. Yeah, because you can, like, sleep. Like, if you uh, cover your, cover like this over your eyes, you can sleep. And then, oh, yeah? And then nobody will notice. Oh, I see. Clever. It's probably better to fall asleep than, than to listen to them uh, try to force you to watch the bite in the inauguration. I had to mute my volume and do the, the classwork because I was supposed to do Oh. Yeah, nobody watched that. <laughs> yeah, YouTube the only two point five dislikes. <laughs> okay. So, um, Liberty Valance is, keeps coming back to Shinbo because uh, he he works for the. Uh, He works for the greedy, bloodthirsty, uh, big-time cattle ranchers. 
So he's trying to intimidate the people there. He uh, he roughs up the uh, <laughs> he roughs up, up the news editor, who's of course on the side of the uh, small time rancher uh, who wants statehood. Why would anybody want the state to manage their lives? I have no idea. <laughs> it's the urge for uh, political power, I think. Uh, people are attracted to it like a magnet. <laughs> Anyways, so that's uh, James Stewart gig. He's trying to get the people to worship him like a, like a uh, false idol. You're supposed to worship Jesus and God, but they worship uh, James Stewart in this one. And to make matters worse, he uh, he ends up shooting Liberty Valance, so everybody thinks he's a hero. <laughs> and uh, so that's the legend of uh, James. They should have uh, renamed the movie "The Legend of James Stewart" instead of uh, John Wayne Headliner. Because he's kind of a uh, drunken loser after he finds out that uh, Vera Miles scorned him. He just gets drunk and burns down his ranch. Uh, he built an extra room for Vera Miles. Kind of like me and uh, my best friend, Jing Jing. She, uh, she keeps saying uh, it's, it's okay to be single instead of... Uh, you know, doing the right thing and marrying me. <laughs> but, uh, hey, I, I let uh, my ex girlfriend, Oceana, the tall Chinese woman, <laughs> everybody thought she was my daughter. <laughs> she was only 27. <laughs> and uh, she was on the Chinese volleyball team. And she, she just got up and left me and my son. I moved to Minnesota to be away from people. <laughs> I think Jing Jing has the same mentality. They're both from China. <laughs> They're happy being alone, I guess. <laughs> no man, uh, same as uh, same as, as his mother. No man around. <laughs> so <laughs> all these people are from China. They want to be alone, I guess. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, mommy's the same way. She doesn't want a man in her bed. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> such is life. I don't know why these uh, Chinese women think the way they do. <laughs> uh, probably because they grew up in China. Like, like they have a personal hatred for men or something. Feminazi. Feminazi. <laughs> yeah. That's probably the communist... Uh, Mao's little red book tells uh, tells women to seize power and things like that. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> um, enough about Chinese women. <laughs> I've uh, I've had uh, I'm up to my eyeballs with uh, <laughs> with, with love unrequited <laughs> when it comes to China, Chinese women. <laughs> I mentioned three already. <laughs> but uh, John Wayne gets drunk and he starts burning down his ranch uh, Poppy the uh, the dude from Spartacus the uh, black football player he's like a, a helper dude I don't think he's a slave anymore because this is uh, probably after the Civil War I'm guessing latter part of the uh, 1800s and uh, during the uh, the manifest destiny period go west young man <laughs> that's what uh, James Stewart was doing so he found a niche for himself he was able to bamboozle the populace into uh, voting for statehood sending him to Congress so that he can become a Congress scritter and so he ended up becoming governor and senator and all this other stuff, ambassador. <laughs> and uh, he's living high on the hog with uh, Vera Miles in old age. And then uh, 
they start talking about moving back to Shimbo <laughs> on the train. It's going a whopping 25 miles an hour. Wow. Look at to Washington, D.C. super fast. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah. John Ford, I forgot to put his name in the description box. I guess I'll do that now. I think he was both the producer and the director for this one. Four-time Academy winner, which means lame stream. <laughs> lame stream movie. Lame stream. <laughs> I think I'll watch The Exterminator Part 2. <laughs> I'll finish up that one. I thought I was going to be able to take a nap, but I think I overslept and energy drink kicked me in the arse <laughs> I couldn't fall asleep just now so I, I managed to finish uh, the man who shot uh, Liberty Valance let's see what we got going here uh -oh. well, let's see Got the Executional Part 2, The Sundowners, and Devil's Angels. I don't know if I can get through all, all three of those, but uh, I could probably do that Executioner Part 2 and The Sundowners to Adrian recommendations. Uh, Western movie, The Sundowners, and uh, the uh, Combat Shock, dude. Becomes like a Batman <laughs> kind of a vigilante, <laughs> street vigilante during the uh, during the mid '80s. They call it they call it Reagan's America because crime was running rampant apparently in 1984. I must have missed that. I must have been living in the nice part of town <laughs> because. Uh, the only time I was a victim of crime was in the 90s when I had my uh, wallet stolen. <laughs> I didn't have any mace in my pocket. <laughs> but um, anyways, I guess they're talking about the inner city kind of uh, crime in Los Angeles. <laughs> it's a lot like com combat shock, but it doesn't take place in New York. Laters. <laughs> 